Certified wildlife habitats are the homeowner's connection to a healthy environment that provides for the needs of wildlife. I think what I like best about it is just walking through it and enjoying it and seeing all the creatures enjoy it with me. Your yard may be home to 15 species of migratory birds, 20 species of uh, pollinators and butterflies, and countless other native plants. You'll see bunny rabbits and snakes and spiders and frogs and every kind of bird. So the elements of a certified wildlife habitat are really simple. We're just looking for food, water, cover, places for the animals to raise their young, while at the same time providing sustainable gardening practices that improve water quality. So quite simply, you just want to make sure that there is some uh, nuts or berries or maybe a bird feeder. I have black chokeberry as an understory tree. Winterberry holly, this is a common nine bar. The black hall viburnum has a beautiful berry. So I have bird feeders up. I usually have a variety of, of bird seeds. You have some water feature, maybe it's a bird bath or a stream. So we have this beautiful stream that comes through here and the uh, University of Delaware monitors it every year for pollution and toxins and they tell me it's, it's very clean. We have mayflower and salamanders. We have a freshwater American eel. I keep a low bird bath. Uh, that you have a place, a, a thick cover where they could hide. That there's a, maybe a bird box or an, open, an old dead log or some place for the animals to raise their young. I have bird boxes all along the way. More bird boxes. Let's see if anybody's in there. There was somebody in there, a little wren. Here's uh, the remnants of a bird nest in there. Uh -huh. And it used to be swallows. This year it was robins. And when the swallows come in, man, I never have mosquitoes. While at the same time providing sustainable gardening practices that improve water quality. And this actually is a bit of a, um, a rain garden. I get the whole neighborhood water runs down my driveway and wraps around the house. So a, a rain garden is an area, a low depressional area, where water can collect off of impervious surfaces. And, uh, and purify in that process, going through mulch and plant la layers where the water goes up through those vegetation, thus reducing the amount of flow that goes into the streams, as well as purifying that water as it goes into the ground table. So it's a very easy way for people to deal with their excessive water runoff. Well, there are a number of benefits to certified wildlife habitats. Probably the most uh, substantial is the wildlife on your land, the ability to see all the nature and beauty around you and be incorporate that into your own life. Additionally, one of the benefits through this program is that we'll send you a free visit from a volunteer habitat steward. Someone uh, such as this, a homeowner who's created something like this, can come to your yard to give you advice on how to do the same thing. I called the Delaware Nature Society asking for help from their experts, and they told me all about it. And uh, they said, you are a prime candidate. <laughs> Um, we don't even have to convert you here. And they gave me their information, and again, I used their resources and helped plan it, and they came out and helped me fine-tune it here and there. And uh... If you're looking for help for a backyard habitat, all you have to do is give us a call to Delaware Nature Society. Uh, and we are affiliated with the National Wildlife Federation, and we will talk you through the process, we will send you the applications, we will provide that habitat steward volunteer and all the expertise to help you along the way. I then became a habitat steward for the Delaware Nature Society. And, and, and work with Greg to go out to other people's yards now and give them ideas. If you don't think this is possible, you're wrong. It can happen on any property. The property we see here is a gorgeous uh, example of what can be done when you have a lot of land. But this, pro this process can actually be incorporated into smaller properties, including balconies and rooftops that are actually certified. The process allows for a habitat steward volunteer to come out and teach you and give you the education on your land to provide a healthy habitat for wildlife while improving water quality. There's always something to learn. Just open your eyes, slow down, pay attention, and uh, it'll speak to you. So that's what I like about it.